clean energy drugs okay in the medicinal chemistry point of view we have already completed from pharmacology the same chapter but uh, in this uh, session we will see from medicinal chemistry point of view so that uh, nothing will be left behind kuch bhi chhodne ka nahi hai usme dekho isme kaisa hai para medicinal chemistry mein uski medicinal chemistry mein maximum ek ya do questions you can expect uh, from this uh, whole drug acting on ens okay so maximum two or three question from both chapter adrenergic as well as cholinergic from medicinal chemistry point of view if you think medicinal chemistry point of view you can expect only two or three questions not more than that because why because most of the questions will be already covered in the pharmacology so that's why they are not going to ask much things about the these two chapters but still whatever is important we will discuss that cholinergics and its antagonist there is cholinergic drugs and anticholinergics so from the medicinal chemistry point of view okay so let's start so you have already i have already told you regarding this the nervous system is nothing but the it is a device of receiving the information that is a sensory input okay whatever sensory input you are getting for example uh, example is touch pain then temperature sensation etc that is nothing but the sensory input so that sensory input you are getting from uh, your peripheral organs and that sensory input is received by the, your brain and after receiving that the brain will process that and uh, after processing it will signal or it will uh, signal depending upon the nature of signal it will signal it will cause a release of neurotransmitter and uh, the respective nervous system will be activated okay so device of for receiving the information that is a sensory input after the receiving the input the processing of information will be there that is known as the integration so sensory input after sensory input your brain will integrate the information and will transmit the information that is known as a motor output okay so in reflex or in the in the in the uh, in the response of that particular stimuli your brain will uh, integrate it it will analyze and will reply by motor output okay in turn the message is transmitted by different organs uh, different organs to different organs using neurotransmitters okay so we have seen this so what are the different neurotransmitters over here so they are either classified according to their nature okay so there are certain amino amino acid neurotransmitters for example aspartic acid taurine then glycine gaba that is gamma and butyric acid and glutamic acid all these are the amino acid neurotransmitter classification is very important already they have asked one question on this okay they will give you one example and uh, they will ask the identify the class of neurotransmitter simple question hai lekin kabhi kabhi nahi aata hai so there are another class known as the amine neurotransmitter so these aspartic acid taurine glycine gamma then glutamic acid these are amino acids they are the amino acid neurotransmitters now amines like acetylcholine dopamine tyramine noradrenaline adrenaline histamine serotonin all these are the mono amines okay mono amines that's why they are known as amine neurotransmitter then miscellaneous for example substance p substance p we have seen in the it is a <coughs> endogenous peptide okay substance p is there then uh, atp cgmp cyclic guanosine gonos monophosphate cyclic adenosine monophosphate prostaglandin e enkephalins and cholecystokinin these are the miscellaneous class of neurotransmitter so amino neurotransmitter amine neurotransmitter and miscellaneous neurotransmitter so they might give you example and uh, you have to identify the class or they might give uh, the question like match the following on this okay so you must be clear about the neurotransmitter present in the brain okay so synthesis of this neurotransmitter their metabolism their release actually these are controlled by various feedback mechanisms in the neurons neurons or nerve, nerve cell okay so next so i am not going to discuss all the details because i have already covered this in uh, pharmacology but still okay so from medicinal chemistry point of view so it is a structure of acetylcholine on your screen first structure is just try to focus on mouse cursor cursor of mouse so first structure is of acetylcholine that is a this one is a choline base the, It, okay so it is known as a ammonium part or cation part okay and it is a ester part there means it is a cationic site it is a anionic site right 
okay and this one is a methylene bridge okay. this is structure of acetyl choline so it is made up of one choline base plus acetyl group okay that means easily acetyl choline acetyl choline synthetase will synthesize the acetyl choline from choline choline is a base in nitrogenous base that occurs in a extracellular fluid जो एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर फ्रीड होता है उसमें कोलिन होता है और जो एस्टिल ग्रुप मिलता है आपका बोलेंगे एस्टिल ग्रुप कहाँ से मिलेगा एस्टिल को ये जो होता है उससे एस्टिल ग्रुप मिलता है ठीक है सो कोलिन एस्टिल ट्रांसफरेज नाम नाम का एक एंजाइम होता है तो दैट विल ट्रांसफर एस्टिल ग्रुप टू द कोलिन एंड यूल गेट एस्टिल कोलिन सो दिस प्रोसेस इज दिस प्रोसेस ऑकर्स इन द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर ओके सो डोंट वरी वील सी इन द अपकमिंग स्लाइड सी दिस इज स्टोरेज एंड रिलीज ऑफ एस्टिल कोलिन ऑल्सो वी आर ऑलरेडी कोविड इन द बर्मोलॉजी बट स्टिल आई विल रिपीट इट अगेन then it is a structure of nor adrenal so it is a, it is having catechol nucleus okay dihydroxy phenyl things that is catechol so adrenalin also we have seen, seen this structure in the uh, last lecture also nor adrenalin the difference between adrenalin and nor adrenalin just just one there is a methyl group of uh, additional methyl group in the adrenalin whereas that whereas that methyl group is not in the nor adrenalin then dopamine it's a, like a similar structure to the again uh except you don't have this hydroxyl group over here in the dopamine then histamine is there histidine nucleus is there and uh, rest of the things are similar then uh, glycine it is just a uh, optically inactive amino acid just remember glycine then aspartic acid next one is aspartic acid so aspartic acid is structure having like this so aspartic acid is a Acidic amino acid. Remember, acidic amino acid. Acidic amino acid. Okay. Then uh, glutamic acid. So acidic am amino acid is there amines. So it is a amino amino derivative of amino acid. So aspartic acid, glutamic acid. Then serotonin is having indole nucleus in their structure, and this one is a gamma amino acid. So it was a, it is just a introduction and structural perspective of the your neurotransmitters. Just try to remember the structure of neurotransmitters. then let's come to our topic okay so cholinergic uh, what do you mean by cholinergic nerve and what do you mean by adrenergic nerve so you must be everyone should be clear about this that adrenergic nerve nerves means the that is a post ganglionic nerve which consists of a noradrenaline or adrenaline as a neurotransmitter and what is cholinergic so cholinergic nerve or cholinergic system is nothing but the the post ganglionic nerve where there is a acetylcholine is the main neurotransmitter so in case of adrenergic you have noradrenaline adrenaline as a neurotransmitter post ganglionic i am talking about the post ganglionic nerve so in case of pre ganglionic both both at the both system you have acetylcholine neurotransmitter theek okay? hai so dono bhi sympathetic parasympathetic mein pre ganglionic nerve jo hota hai usme kya hota hai neurotransmitter acetylcholine aur post ganglionic mein kya hai difference hai kya difference hai adrenaline aur noradrenaline hota hai sympathetic mein और कोलेस्टल कोलिन होता है पैरासिमेटिक में ओके तो दैट इज नाउ सेल मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ न्यूरॉन कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सेमी परमीएबल लिपोप्रोटीन जो सेल मेम्ब्रेन होता है न्यूरॉन का वहां पे रिसेप्टर्स होते हैं वहां पे लिपोप्रोटीन होते हैं दैट विल अलाउ एंट्री ऑफ वेरियस आयंस ओके वो एक मतलब ये रिसेप्टर है आयन चैनल जैसे तो दैट विल अलाउ एंट्री ऑफ सिलेक्टेड आयंस लाइक सोडियम पोटेशियम देन कैल्शियम क्लोराइड एंड बाइकार्बोनेट आयन ओके नॉर्मली you know that inside the cell membrane potential of nerve cell or your muscle muscle cell or your uh, cardiac cell so inside the cell membrane always there is a negative potential for example in the nerve cell there is a minus 70 millivolt potential okay so if there is entry of calcium or uh, sodium or calcium or uh, potassium that means there is, if there is entry of cation that will cause a disturbance in the polar, polar polarity of inside cell neuronal cell so that is nothing but the depolarization and that will cause a stimulation that will cause a generation of action potential that is known as stimulative action if if instead of cation going inside the cation instead of cation if anion goes inside the cell membrane that will increase the polarity of cell inside the cell means agar aapka cell hai neuronal cell nerve cell hai nerve cell ke andar kya hai negative potential hai bahar kya hai positive potential hai कि बाहर तो प्लाज्मा है नर्व सेल के अंदर क्या है नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल कितना है माइनस सेवेंटी मिलोड आप मान लीजिए कि वहां पे कैल्शियम का या पोटेशियम का या फिर आपका सोडियम का एंट्री होता है तो क्या होगा कि 
अंदर तो निगेटिविटी है और बाहर से कौन कौन सा आयन जा रहा है पॉजिटिव आयन जा रहा है अगर पॉजिटिव आयन जाएगा वहां तो उसका जो पोलरिटी वो डिस्टर्ब होगा ना तो दैट इज नोन एज अ डिस्टर्बेंस इन पोलरिटी इज नोन एज अ डीपोलराइजेशन एंड दैट डीपोलराइजेशन लीड्स टू स्टिमुलेशन एक्शन सिमुलेशन ऑफ एक्शन और स्टिमुलेटरी पे और जनरेशन ऑफ एक्शन पोटेंशियल और कंडक्शन ऑफ एक्शन पोटेंशियल ये ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर सेम वेन एवर देर इज अ डीपोलराइजेशन देर विल देर विल बी जनरेशन ऑफ इम्पल्स और कंडक्शन ऑफ इम्पल्स और एक्शन पोटेंशियल और स्टिमुलेशन एंड नाउ सपोज दैट अगर वहां पे सोडियम कैल्शियम पोटेशियम के बजाय क्लोराइड अंदर जाता है मीन्स क्लोराइड इज अ निगेटिव आयन ठीक है और अगर अंदर भी निगेटिविटी है अगर क्लोराइड भी अंदर जा रहा है तो अंदर का निगेटिविटी क्या होगा बढ़ जाएगा ना तो दैट इज नोन एज अ हाइपर पोलराइजेशन ओके सो इफ देर इज हाइपर पोलराइजेशन द कंडक्शन ऑफ इम्पल्स विल नॉट बी देयर देयर विल बी स्टॉपेज ऑफ इम्पल्स और देयर विल बी सपरेशन ऑफ एक्शन ओके सो दैट इज हाउ न्यूरोनल मेम्ब्रेन वर्क ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज अ As soon as impulse reaches to a terminal end, terminal end means what? Synapse. For example, suppose that आपके पास क्या है synapse? अभी एक neuron से impulse आया, अभी synapse तक आ गया. अभी वो impulse क्या करेगा? As soon as the impulse reaches to a nerve end, there is a influx of calcium ion inside the cell, in the cytoplasm. Okay? That means calcium का entry अंदर हो जाएगा ज़्यादा. Now cytoplasm में calcium का entry हो गया. This result in This result in the release of more calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. अभी cell ना cell जो होता है cell में सब कुछ होता है cytoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus and all that nucleus के बाकी सब आपका वो पढ़ लेना आप क्या क्या है cell का content ये सब twelfth में भी हो चुका है आपको. Now that uh, in plus of calcium causes more calcium release from sarcoplasmic reticulum. Okay and these uh, uh, this released calcium in the cytoplasm now you have more calcium in the cytoplasm of nerve cell now that cytoplasm cytoplasmic concentration of calcium increase the cytoplasmic concentration of calcium if reaches to a threshold value a particular value uh, particular value of concentration agar badhta hai calcium ka so that that will cause the rupturing of vesicles theek hai jo vesicles hote hain neurons ke andar जहाँ पे आपका न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर स्टोर होता है सो so, एक थ्री के ऊपर अगर कैल्शियम का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन गया सेल में सेल के अंदर तो वो क्या करेगा कि न्यूरोनल जो वेसिकल्स है आपके जिसमें आपका स्टोर हो चुका है क्या न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर सो दैट वेसिकल्स विल बी रपचर्ड एंड न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर विल बी रिलीज ओके सो इफ साइटोप्लाजमिक कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ कैल्शियम रिचेज टू ए थ्री लेवल द स्टोरेज ग्रेनुअल्स ऑफ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर दैट इज वेसिकल गेट रपचर्ड एंड न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर इज रिलीज फ्रॉम प्री सैनिटिक नर्व एंडिंग we serve as a messenger for the next synaptic junction right now neurotransmitter interact with the receptor with its receptor if the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine it will interact with the muscarinic and nicotinic receptor if it is acetylcholine uh, so if it is a adrenaline it will interact with the alpha and beta receptor okay so some part of uh, uh, released neurotransmitter will be taken up by reuptake mechanism into the back back into the neuron that will be again stored and some part of this uh, meta uh, neurotransmitter will be re uh, metabolized in the metabolized in the synapse by the various enzyme like your uh, like in in case of acetylcholine it, it, it is inactivated by acetylcholine esterase like in uh, uh, noradrenaline adrenaline case that is metabolized by uh, catecholamine or the methyl transferase but in case of acetylcholine it is metabolized by Choline esterase enzyme. Okay, so choline esterase will cause hydrolysis of acetylcholine. So there will be separation of your acetyl group and uh, choline base. Okay, so terminal. Uh, okay, you are done with. So some part of uh, removed by uptake process and to the terminal storage of the neurotransmitter. And rest of the neurotransmitter will be metabolized by uh, enzyme that is choline choline esterase enzyme into acetic acid and choline. Okay. Now next one is a so there are two divisions of autonomic nervous system that is we know that sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system I don't want to repeat it again that is noradrenaline is a post synaptic neurotransmitter for sympathetic acetylcholine is a post synaptic neurotransmitter for parasympathetic then uh, acetylcholine is synthesized from acetyl acetylcholine is synthesized from acetylation of choline molecule so choline molecule will be taken up up from the uh, your uh, plasma plasma into neuronal cell. and uh, in the neuronal cell 
there will be synthesis of acetylcholine okay so choline by base plus acetyl group from the acetyl coenzyme a okay from the mitochondrial mitochondrial acetyl coa and uh, choline base will interact together using the enzyme choline transferase to form a acetylcholine molecule now synthesized acetylcholine molecule will be stored in the synaptic vesicles present in the nerve ending that is synapse and now if calcium influx is there up to a certain level threshold then it will get ruptured and there will be release of acetylcholine now for for each four molecules of calcium will release one molecule of acetylcholine remember for each acetylcholine molecule you require four molecules of calcium okay so means agar four molecule of calcium andar jata hai neurons mein to ek molecule of acetylcholine release ho jayega theek hai vesicular release of acetyl acetylcholine is inhibited by excess of magnesium remember this line so excess excess of magnesium will prevent the release of acetylcholine so vesicular release of acetylcholine is inhibited by the excessive um, uh, magnesium okay now released acetylcholine along with the calcium will be metabolized will be uh, sorry released acetylcholine along with the calcium then will mobilize intracellular calcium from the uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum and increase the concentration of pre calcium ion in the cytoplasm so abhi whatever we have seen in the last slide that was in the neuronal ending uh, synapse but now suppose that the uh, acetylcholine is released near to the neuromuscular junction the neuromuscular junction hai wahan pe acetylcholine release ho raha hai abhi wahan pe kaise action hoga so vesicular release of uh, there is if there is a release of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction so at the at there also there will be release of uh, calcium there will be extracellular calcium in the in the cytoplasm in that cytoplasm okay so along with acetylcholine calcium then mobilize intracellular calcium present in the sarco cyto uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum and there will be increase in the intracellular calcium level now this calcium in increased intracellular calcium will activate one one uh, calmodin cascade calmodin dependent myosin like chain kinase Uh, will be activated by calcium and this will cause phosphorylation of myosin filaments and you know that muscles are made up of actin and myosin filaments if there is a phosphorylation of myosin so myosin in turn interact with the actin to form a muscle contraction okay so this how muscle will be contracted now acetylcholine is metabolized by two enzymes we have seen in the pharmacology lecture that is one of the one is a true choline esterase and one is a pseudo choline esterase uh, where is true choline true choline esterase true choline esterase is present in the neuronal ending and uh, pseudo choline esterase is present in the plasma we have seen that now whatever released acetylcholine is there it will act on its receptor okay so you have two kind of receptor for acetylcholine muscarinic receptor is there that is denoted by m m capital m and uh, One is an acetylcholine receptor that is denoted by capital N. Okay, so in case of muscarinic receptor, you have different kinds M1, M2, M3, right? In case of uh, nicotinic receptor, you have N1, N2, or you can call it as a NM or NN. So, so NM is present in the neuromuscular junction, and NN is present in the ganglia. Okay, so for example, acetylcholine. Okay, receptors. muscarinic receptor are the name given because of the there is one alkaloid known as a muscarin okay so that is a alkaloid known as a muscarin here is the structure okay so that muscarin will produce the similar reaction to the acetylcholine okay and that's why the receptor is known as a muscarin muscarinic receptor it has subtypes like m1 m2 m3 m1 is present in the neuronal uh, ending and m2 is present in the cardiac muscle and m3 is present in the smooth muscle and glands okay another alkaloid is there known as a nicotine okay so nicotine nicotine also will produce uh, same kind of actions like acetylcholine that's why the receptor is known as nicotine receptor so those are two types nm and nn so nm is present at the neuromuscular junction and nn is present in the ganglia we have seen this part in the pharmacology also okay so just try to correlate these things so it is a structure of acetylcholine okay this is a structure of acetylcholine You have your acetyl group, you have your methylene bridge, and you have your 
एक क्वार्टर में अमोनियम ओके सो टर्शनी अमोनियम सो सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ मस्केटनी इज देयर देखो यहाँ पे जो नाइट्रोजन आइटम है उसके थ्री मिथाइल ग्रुप है टर्सरी नाइट्रोजन ठीक है यहाँ सॉरी क्वार्टरनरी नाइट्रोजन क्वार्टरनरी नाइट्रोजन ठीक है तो यहाँ पे भी वैसे ही है इथिलीन ब्रिज है यहाँ पे एक, एक दो वैसे ही यहाँ पे भी है ना सिर्फ यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा अलग है लेकिन मेन चीज ये है कि ये दिस ग्रुप विल इंटरेक्ट विद रिसेप्टर क्वार्टरनरी अमोनियम दिस ग्रुप विल भी इंटरेक्ट विद रिसेप्टर देर सॉ मस्करीन निकोटीन This will have, these two will have similar reactions of similar to the similar reactions. Those similar to the similar reactions which is produced by acetylcholine. Okay, मतलब acetylcholine का similar reaction दिखाई है muscarine and nicotine. That's why उसका receptor का नाम भी दिया है. Okay, now another alkaloid is there known as a pilocarpine. Okay, so pilocarpine is also cholinomimetic alkaloid. Pilocarpine is a cholinomimetic alkaloid and it also will interact with the, with the receptor. It will also produce a, Whatever action is produced by acetylcholine. Okay? So just remember the structure. Muscarine is an actually this muscarine was obtained from a poisonous mushroom. There is there is one mushroom known as a Amanita muscaria. Okay, so that alkaloid obtained from this mushroom, poisonous mushroom known as a muscarine. Okay, and it has a similar actions like acetylcholine on smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and exocrine glands. The vascular defects are very low. तो so, ये ग्लैंड पे जो बाकी का एक्शन है ये एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड कार्डियक मसल पे या स्मूथ मसल पे उसका एक्शन सिमिलर ऑफ सिमिलर है एस्टिकुल से लेकिन वेस्कुलर एक्शन जो है वो नहीं कमी तो निकोटिन इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम निकोटिना टोबकम एंड इट इट एक्ट्स ऑन अ स्केलेटल मसल लाइक एस्टिकुल केमिकल स्ट्रक्चरल फीचर ऑफ एस्टिकुल सो एस्टिकुल मॉलिक्यूल विल हैव थ्री केमिकल स्ट्रक्चरल फीचर्स ओके फर्स्ट एस्टिकुल इज नथिंग बट द इट इज अ ईस्टर ऑफ एस्टिक एसिड प्लस कोलिन ओके सो कोलिन इज नथिंग बट द अमाइनो अल्कोहल और यू कैन कॉल इट इज अ बेस अमाइनो अल्कोहल बेस ओके सो इट इज अ ईस्टर ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड प्लस कोलिन नाउ यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एसिटिल कोलिन सो इट इज अ डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट सो दिस वन इज नोन एज एसिटिल ग्रुप ओके सी इज थ्री सिटेबल बॉन्ड ओ नाउ दिस वन इज अ इथिलीन ब्रिज सी एच2 सी एच2 इथिलीन ब्रिज एंड दिस वन इज अ क्वार्टरनरी अमोनियम ओके क्वार्टरनरी अमोनियम और इट इज आल्सो नोन एज अ ओनियम ग्रुप is also known as onium group or quaternary ammonium group then ethylene bridge and acetyl group so it is a basic skeleton of acetyl choline so whatever drugs are cholinomimetics jitne bhi cholinomimetic drug hai aur cholinergic drugs hai aur cholinergic jaise action dikhate hain acetyl choline waise copy karne wale jo actions dikhate hain drug unka structure bhi is tarike se hoga matlab kam se kam ye portion to same hoga usme so whatever are the cholinomimetic alkaloids cholinomimetic drugs or cholinergic drugs they will have a similar structure with the acetylcholine and that's why they are able to combine with the acetylcholine receptor and will produce a similar reaction to the acetylcholine there are three sides of structural modification of acetylcholine first one is a acetyl group second one is a ethylene bridge and third one is a quaternary ammonium group right now quaternary ammonium group is linked to acetyl group by ethylene bridge via ester linkage so acetylcholine is a stable in acidic environment but अनस्टेबल इन द अल्कलाइन एनवायरमेंट सो एसिड एनवायरमेंट में स्टेबल है लेकिन बेसिक में अनस्टेबल है बेसिक में उसका हाइड्रोलिसिस हो जाए ठीक है सो प्री कोलिन प्री एसिटिल कोलिन प्रेजेंट इन द टिश्यू एंड प्लाज्मा दैट इज रैपिडली हाइड्रोलाइज्ड बाय कोलिन स्टेरेज सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू देयर आर टू टाइप कोई टू टाइप ऑफ कोलिन स्टेरेज एंजाइम फर्स्ट वन इज अ ट्रू कोलिन स्टेरेज व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द नर्व सेल and second one is a pseudo choline esterase which is present in the plasma and extracellular fluid so there is no pre acetyl choline present in the tissue or plasma because it is rapidly hydrolyzed by pseudo choline esterase okay ye aapko last lecture mein bola tha maine par structure activities relationship of okay so you cannot change anything on the ethylene bridge so no change is tolerable on ethylene bridge you cannot change anything on ethylene bridge then ketonic ammonium group is important for muscarinic and nicotinic entry so ketonic ammonium group ketonic or quaternary ammonium group or onium group whatever is the their onium group is there that is important for muscarinic as well as nicotinic activity so you cannot change that group but the nitrogen can be replaced by different for example we can cannot replace the methyl group of any nitrogen group jo jo methyl group hai attachment wahan pe wo usko change nahi kar sakte theek hai 
लेकिन नाइट्रोजन जो है उसकी जगह भी दूसरा कुछ डाल सकते हैं तो कॉटनरी नाइट्रोजन अमोनियम ग्रुप एंड टर्मिनल कार्बन फॉर ऑप्टिम एक्टिविटी substitution of bulky groups on the terminal carbon atom of acetyl group result in the umbrella effect that will that will prevent the that will prevent the attachment of acetyl choline to its muscarinic receptor and also result in the anti muscarinic activity that is example is benzyl choline tripocholine tri tripocholine ek minute ek minute mask ko pehle structure likha do ye ki abhi structure aaya yahan pe abhi fir se dekhte hain sir Now what is no change is tolerable on ethylene group. Yeah, ethylene bridge jo hai apka. Ye jo ethylene bridge hai. Iske upar koi change nahi kar sakte. Yahan pe yahan pe agar aapne dimethyl dal diya to that will be inactive. Yahan pe agar aapne sirf ek methyl ek carbonate mein ek methyl dala that is active. But agar yahan pe matlab hydrogen yahan pe important hai. Agar dono hydrogen replace karenge yahan ka methyl group se to that will be inactive. So no change is tolerable on ethylene bridge. Then cationic ammonium group is important for muscarinic as well as nicotinic activity. ये जो group है cationic ammonium group, so it is important for muscarinic as well as nicotinic activity. So these methyl groups are very important. You cannot replace this methyl group. आपको ये methyl group के साथ कोई change जाने करनी है. हाँ, you can replace this nitrogen itself by using arsenic by using arsenic antimony, phosphorus or sulfur compound. यहाँ पे phosphorus डाल सकते हो nitrogen की जगह, sulfur डाल सकते हो, या फिर आप यहाँ पे फास्फोरस डाल सकते हो सल्फर डाल सकते हो या आर्सेनिक डाल सकते हो ठीक है ये हो गया ये साइड का अभी आते हैं ये साइड में ओके सो देयर शुड बी फोर कार्बन एटम चेन बिटवीन क्वाटरनरी अमोनियम ग्रुप एंड टर्मिनल कार्बन ग्रुप मींस ये दिस इज अ टर्मिनल कार्बन लास्ट वाला ओके सो इसके और इसके बीच में चार कार्बन एटम का लेंथ होना चाहिए तभी वो कंपाउंड दैट कंपाउंड विल बी एक्टिव एज अ कोलिनर्जिक ग्रुप देखो यहां पे कितना है एसिड कोलिन मॉलिक्यूल में 1 2 3 रिसेप्टर so the molecule will not be able to attach the muscarinic receptors okay and it will result in the anti muscarinic activity for example benzyl choline benzyl choline mein kya hota hai same structure hota hai sirf yahan pe ac3 ki jagah yahan pe ek c and ka matlab yahan pe benzyl group hota hai tripocholine tripocholine bhi wo isi tarah ka structure hai now carbacol and acetyl acetyl beta methylcholine means bethanol carbacol and bethanol are mostly act as a muscarinic agonist while propionyl choline and acetyl alpha methyl choline act as a nicotinic agonist okay because of this kyunki yahan pe agar change karenge to uska muscarinic ka attachment kam ho jayega you can see acetyl choline and its derivative it is known as acetyl choline this is a methacholine what is the basic difference there is just introduction of one methyl group over one here just replace this uh, methyl group by ammonia again ammonium group it is a carbocol Bi binding of acetylcholine to the receptor there are two sides for binding to there are two sides of binding of uh, there are two sides on the receptor for binding of acetylcholine molecule there is one esteric side and there is one anionic side okay so acetylcholine molecule join the receptor by these two sides okay so binding of acetyl choline to the receptor there are two sides on receptor first one is esteric side so at the esteric side of receptor the acetyl group of acetyl choline will bind and at the side of anionic side of receptor the 
the cotton and the ammonium will bind by electrostatic bond, electrostatic bond and hydrogen bonds. Okay. So in addition to that, there are some van der Waal interaction between the receptor and the acetylcholine molecule. Hydrogen bonding, ionic bonding are there. Three methyl groups are present on the nitrogen that will also interact hydrophobically and van der Waal forces are in the interaction of receptor acetylcholine with its receptor. Okay. Now, cholinergic agonist or cholinomimetic drugs. What are these? These are the drugs mostly have actions of excitation or inhibition on autonomic epitaph cells innervated by postganglionic parasympathetic nerve. They differ from acetylcholine in their structure. In their structure and pharmacology also. So, selectivity for masculinity and nicotinic receptor. So, cholinergic drug jo hote, wo Structure में थोड़ा सा difference होता है उनकी acetylcholine से उसके वजह से वो उनका जो affinity for the muscarinic receptor है और nicotinic receptor है वो थोड़ा change होता है so selectivity for muscarinic and nicotinic receptor it will be different than acetylcholine okay chemical stability also even metabolizing susceptibility susceptibility to get metabolized will also be different now selectivity for hydrolysis of hydrolysis cholin stress Duration of action. For example, acetylcholine ka hai, jayse, ab, amane bola hai ki, you cannot find a free acetylcholine in the body because it is rapidly metabolized by pseudocholine stress and tocholine stress. Now, methacholine, it is a it is a synthetic choline, it, it is a synthetic choline, acetylcholine analog. Ya phir acetylcholine ka synthetic molecule hai, ya aap methyl group dala hua. Abhi ya methyl group kya karega? It will create a hindrance to the pseudocholine stress. So, you you cannot give acetylcholine by orally or by injectively, but you can give methacholine. Why? Because this, because of this methyl group, it will not get metabolized easily. Okay, that. Now, classification of cholinomimetic drugs. So we have seen this acetylcholine and its analog like acetylcholine, then beta methylcholine, then uh, carbacol. We have seen that. Okay, the structures. The natural and synthetic alkaloids. So natural alkaloids like uh, uh, pilocarpin is there, then muscarine is there, okay, nicotine is there. We have seen the structure of this, those alkaloids. Now again, choline stress inhibitor. So choline stress inhibitor means those are the drugs which will inhibit the acetylcholine stress enzyme, and it will increase. Agar acetylcholine stress ka enzyme ka role kya hai? That will metabolize the acetylcholine. Aapko kya karna hai acetylcholine ka? Concentration bada na hai. So you can inhibit the choline stress enzyme. So there are choline stress inhibitors. In that class, in that class also you have two kinds. Reversible, irreversible. In case of reversible, for example, your bisestigmine, neostigmine, ammonium, iridostigmine, all that. Okay. In case of irreversible inhibitors, you have a different kind of uh, organophosphorus compounds. Pesticides, melathion, parathion, diathion. Okay. We have seen in the Pharmacology also, same classification. Then for, uh, next one is the ganglionic stimulants. Okay. Now, structure the activity relationship of these drugs. So, modification of uh, quaternary ammonium group. Modification of quaternary ammonium So, quaternary ammonium group is optimal for the activity. Following are the exceptions. Means, pilocarpin, you don't have quaternary ammonium group in the pilocarpin, but you have quaternary quaternary nitrogen in the pilocarpin but that is in a heterocyclic ring okay but still pilocarpin has a and uh, pilocarpin has a cholinergic activity then array choline array choline is the alkaloid obtained from array converter. so it also having the similar structure a similar structure so it is exception nicotine also does not have any quaternary ammonium quaternary nitrogen in the structure but still it has a uh, tertiary nitrogen in the heterocyclic ring now modification of ethylene bridge. We are seeing the cholinomimetic alkaloids. Okay, so modification of ethylene bridge. So distance between terminal nitrogen and carboxylic group should be four carbon atom. Replacement of ethylene bridge by hydrogen by alkyl group produces less safety compound except when single methyl group is placed either at alpha or beta quaternary quaternary. जो ethylene bridge है वहाँ पे आप ज़्यादा कुछ अगर आपने यहाँ पे दो मिथाइल डाल दिया, दो मिथाइल ग्रुप डाल दिया, if you try to substitute two methyl groups on this carbon atom, the compound will be inactive. 
so if you try to only replace one carbon one hydrogen by methyl group then the compound will be less active but it will be resistant to the metabolism right so this is how modification of ethyl bridge the presence of methylene methyl group on the bridge beta to the quaternary nitrogen increases the muscarinic activity for example methacholine then uh, methyl methyl group at alpha position in case of uh, pentanol okay in also increases the well. so methyl group at alpha to the nitrogen yahan pe dekho ye nitrogen hai iska ek alpha position hai ek beta position hai ye ho gaya alpha ye ho gaya beta theek hai nitrogen ke nazdik jo hai usko bolenge alpha nitrogen ke dur jo hai usko bolenge beta okay now beta beta jo carbon hai ye jo carbon hai me iske upar agar methyl group dalenge to muscarinic ki activity increase hogi is और अगर यहाँ पे अल्फा पे डालेंगे तो निकोटिनिक एक्टिविटी इंक्रीज हो जाएगी मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ असाइल ग्रुप जो टर्मिनल कार्बोक्सिल ग्रुप है उसका सो हायर होमोलोगस लाइक प्रोपेनिल ब्यूटारिल ग्रुप वॉज अटैच एंड सब्सटेड ऑन द असाइल ग्रुप दैट विल कॉज डिक्रीज इन एक्टिविटी मतलब वहाँ पे अगर एस्टिल की जगह प्रोपेनिल डाल दिया आपने ब्यूटारिल डाल दिया दैट विल नॉट बी एक्टिव और इट विल बी लेस एक्टिव देन एरोमेटिक और हायर मोलिकुलर वेट एसिड स्ट्रेस of choline result in the antagonistic activity agar wo aap apne benzene ring dal diya ya fir koi dusra heterocyclic ring dal diya methyl group ke bajaye to wo aap kya hoga antagonistic activity milega methyl amino group is replaced by amino the carbo carbonic acid ester is a having potent cholinergic activity both for muscarinic as well as nicotine apparent size of total molecule is very important the total molecular size of molecule is important कि एगोनिस्ट एंटीगोनिस्ट जो है टोटल उसका मॉलिकुलर साइज क्या है वो इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड इट्स एक्टिविटी देन असाइल ग्रुप प्रेजेंट ओके सो एपरेंट साइज ऑफ मॉलिकुल इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू इट्स एक्टिविटी देन असाइल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन ऑफ इथर लैंग्वेज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर हाई मस्कनिंग एक्टिविटी इफ ऑक्सीजन इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय सल्फर देयर इज डिक्रीज इन द एक्टिविटी और लेस बिकॉज़ ऑफ लेस इंटरेक्शन विद द रिसेप्टर सो यू कैन नॉट रिप्लेस दैट ऑक्सीजन ऑफ एसिटाइल ग्रुप इथर इथर जो है कोलिन मैंने बोला ना कोलिन एस्टिल कोलिन इज मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ कोलिन प्लस एस्टिल बाय ईस्टर ओके सो वहां पे जो ऑक्सीजन है वो रिप्लेस किया अगर सल्फर से सो दैट विल रिजल्ट इन डिक्रीज इन एक्टिव देन यन अल्काइल डाइमिथाइल अमोनियम सॉल्ट सीरीज वाज प्रिपेयर्ड एज अ कार्बोनिल और अदर ग्रुप ऑफ ईस्टर वाज नॉट एसेंशियल फॉर एक्टिविटी दूसरा कुछ मॉडिफिकेशन वो करेंगे तो वो भी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पिलोकार्पिन एरेकोलिन निकोटिन निकोटिन मस्करनिक मस्करिन बेथनोकॉल कार्बोकॉल ओके उसका जो स्ट्रक्चर है उसमें का आधे स्ट्रक्चर तो आपने देख लिया होगा व्हाट आर द एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ कोलिनोमाइमेटिक वी आर सीइंग दैट इफ दे आर जस्ट रिलेटेड टू फार्माकोलॉजिकल एक्शंस एक्सटेंशन ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजिकल एक्शंस एंड सलाइवेशन वोमिटिंग सीवियर गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टिनल क्रैम्प्स दे आर द एडवर्स इफेक्ट नाउ व्हाट आर देयर स्पेसिफिक यूजेस द व्हाट आर देयर कॉन्ट्राइंडेशंस they are contraindicated in case of just remember three four condition always they are contraindicated in case of certain conditions like uh, from kel asthma then peptic ulcer then intestinal uh, inter intestinal obstruction then uh, uh, urinary presence of uh, incontinence of urinary urinary system then gastrointestinal obstruction they are contraindicated in these conditions ye yeah, already hai bhai malum hai aapko याद रखना है बिकॉज ये इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन आता है so true choline stress is also known as acetyl choline stress or e choline stress or specific choline stress it is found in the brain and rbc only okay and that will rapidly uh, metabolize the acetyl choline now another there is one known as a butyro choline stress or es choline stress or non specific choline stress or pseudo choline stress means all these are the same names of this pseudo choline stress butyro choline stress es choline stress non specific choline stress so it is found in the plasma and extra vascular tissue it will slowly de, uh, slowly hydrolyze the acetyl choline molecule now inhibition of these enzymes 
which result in the increase in the concentration of acetylcholine okay at the site of therefore choline stress inhibitors are used clinically in various limits various condition if you want to increase the acetylcholine concentration for example in case of alzheimer's disease okay in case of uh, paralytic illness so at the time you can use this choline stress inhibitor there are two types of choline stress inhibitor reversible irreversible reversible anti uh, reversible acetylcholine stress inhibitor so reversible acetylcholine stress inhibitor so they are nothing but the phytostigmine neostigmine and pyridostigmine okay so pyridostigmine you just have to remember pyridine structure pyridine name phytostigmine may be pyridine hai lekin usme ek additional methyl group hai yen methyl pyridine hai usme isme phytostigmine mein pyridine hai phytostigmine mein yen methyl pyridine hai ab neostigmine mein kya hai trimethyl yen 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 into yen 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 trimethyl pyridine yen yen trimethyl benzyl ring choline stress inhibitors are classified into two types reversible and this type of reversible choline stress will have a structural similarity similarity to the acetylcholine molecule okay and they will combine at both side that is anionic side and esteritic side of enzyme okay that is acetylcholine stress now another uh, in that also you also two sub type first one is natural so for example pyrostigmine and then synthetic neostigmine pyridostigmine ammonium endroponium nico uh, nicotine benzpyrinium all these are the synthetic choline stress inhibitor mitotin not nicotine so neostigmine pyridostigmine ammonium endroponium mitotin and benzpyrin benzpyrinium these are the synthetic choline stress inhibitors now next one is a their structure reactivity relationship so not much much uh, there are only few points so distance between terminal ether oxygen and nitrogen should be exactly similar to the acetylcholine ab dekho yahan pe yahan pe jo distance hai wo similar hi hona chahiye matlab bhai ye kya hai ester hai ye oxygen hai aur yahan pe ye nitrogen hai hai na to terminal nitrogen aur ester ke beech mein kitna gap hona chahiye four carbonate to so, dekho 1 2 3 4 aaye वैसे ही यहाँ पे भी यहाँ पे वन टू थ्री है यहाँ पे भी है ओके देन टू इंट्रोसाइकिल रिंग इन द पॉजिटिस्टिक माइंड इज नॉट इसेंशियल फॉर एंटीकोलॉजिक एक्टिविटी इंट्रोसाइकिल रिंग जो है उतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है एंटीकोलॉजिक एक्टिविटी के सार उतना इसका इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है लेकिन स्ट्रक्चर हो गया था ना एंड्रोफोनियम इट इज अक्चर ऑफ एंड्रोफोनियम ओके इट इज ऑल्सो रिवर्सिबल एंटीकोलॉनी स्ट्रेस and now this endrophonium is used as a uh, diagnosis diagnostic agent in the muscarinic sorry in the masthenia gravis so in the masthenia gravis it is used as a diagnostic agent endrophonium because of its short duration of action so jo uh, pyridostigmine hota hai aapko pyridostigmine hota hai usme kya hai duration jata hai pyridostigmine pyridostigmine neostigmine all these have larger duration of action but this ammonium uh, sorry endrophonium as a less duration of action because of less duration of action centrophonium is used as a diagnosis a diagnostic agent for the masthenia gravis okay and rest of the things these are used as a phytostigmine is a specific antidote for atropine poisoning remember phytostigmine is an, a specific antidote for atropine poisoning the neostigmine neostigmine is uh, pyridostigmine they are used in the glaucoma and all other conditions now uh, next one is a organophosphorus compounds they are known as irreversible anticholine stress okay organophosphorus compounds they are known as irreversible anticholine stress now reversible anticholine stress are used for treating the alzheimer's disease where there is a lack of acetylcholine at the neuronal endings for example tacarin is also there then ammonium is also there so these are the reversible anticholine stress except this organophosphorus compound जितने भी स्ट्रक्चर देखे दीज आर द रिवर्सिबल एंटीकोलिस्ट्रेज एंजाइम इनिबिटर एक्सेप्ट दिस ऑर्गेनोफॉस्फोरस कंपाउंड नाउ एंड्रोफोनियम फॉर्म्स अ रिवर्सिबल कॉम्प्लेक्स विद द एंजाइम जैसे मैंने अभी बोला है एंड्रोफोनियम विल फॉर्म रिवर्सिबल कॉम्प्लेक्स विद द एसिटिलकोलिस्ट्रेज एंजाइम एंड दैट्स व्हाई इट हैज अ शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एक्शन एंड यूज्ड फॉर द डायग्नोस्टिक ऑफ मास्थेनिया ग्रेविस न्यूस्टिकमेन डज नॉट क्रॉस द सीएनएस एंड साइड इफेक्ट सीएनएस डज नॉट क्रॉस सीएनएस एंड साइड इफेक्ट बिकॉज़ इट हैज अ डाई मिथाइल कार्बोमेट इन प्लेस ऑफ मिथाइल कार्बोमेट
it does not cross, cross the blood vein barrier so it is used in the glaucoma only therapeutic uses of reversible anticholinesterases glaucoma myasthenia gravis and used as antidote for urinary poisoning we have seen this in the pharmacology don't need to repeat again now irreversible anticholinesterases these are nothing but the organophosphorus compound they will bind to a acetylcholine esterase enzyme irreversibly and the, they will bind mostly to the uh, that uh, esterotic site we have seen this they will bind esterotic site and they will not get easily hydrolyzed from that site okay so hydrolysis will take time that's why there is a irreversible inhibition of acetylcholine esterase by organophosphorus compounds or pesticides so ecothiopate melathion parathion diethion so whatever pesticides are there they will inhibit irreversibly okay. these organophosphorus compounds are used as a nerve gas poison in the warfare and they are used as a insecticide in the uh, insecticide in the agriculture and also they are used in the treatment of glaucoma only few of them are used to treat the glaucoma not all एक दो है वो यूज करते हैं बाकी उसका यूज सिर्फ एग्रीकल्चर में होता है इंसेक्टिसाइड बोल के और कभी कभी वारफेयर में अगर किसी को हराना है किसी से किसी किसी की मिलिट्री को हराना है तो उसमें नर गैस बोल के भी यूज करते हैं इरिवर्सिबल इनिवेटर ऑफ एस्टिलकोलिन स्ट्रेस ओके सो इकोथायोपेट देन यूर पैराथायन मेलाथायन पैराथायन में क्या है पैरा पोजिशन पे ये ये ग्रुप है यहाँ पे पैराथायन में मेलाथायन में क्या है मेलाथायन में ये ये रिंग ओपन है उसका ठीक है ये स्ट्रक्चर इज इम्पोर्टेंट नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट ये ऑर्गेन फॉस्पर का कंपाउंड का स्ट्रक्चर नहीं इम्पोर्टेंट हाँ इसमें क्या इम्पोर्टेंट है दिस प्रेलिडॉक्सिम ओके नाउ दिस प्रेलिडॉक्सिम इज नोन एज इट इज नोन एज अ कोलिन स्टरेज एक्टिवेटर री एक्टिवेटर ओके नाउ अगर ऑर्गेन फॉस्परस पॉइजनिंग होता है आपको अगर आपका कोई इंसेक्टिसाइड पी लिया आपने तो क्या होगा जैसे आपने इंसेक्टिसाइड पी लिया जैसे अपने सुसाइड करने के लिए जो होता है ना खेत में जो इंसेक्टिसाइड होता है वो सुसाइड करने के लिए पीते हैं जैसे आपका कहाँ पे झगड़ा हो गया पेरेंट्स के साथ या फिर जो भी रीजन है अगर पी लिया तो आपको क्या होगा कि दैट इंसेक्टिसाइड विल ब्लॉक कोलिन स्ट्रेस एंजाइम मीन्स कोलिन स्ट्रेस एंजाइम विल बी इनिबिटेड इिवर्सिबली अब कोलिन स्ट्रेस एंजाइम रिवर्सिबली इिवर्सिबली इनिबिट हो गए तो क्या होगा there will be more concentration of acetylcholine on the uh, neuronal ending or the site of action theek hai abhi dekho aapko acetylcholine ka actions follow hui to wahi actions poisoning mein dikhega aapko so you will have a, a frothing in the your mouth ki aapka saliv salivation zyada hoga frothing hoga mouth mein because there is a excessive salivary secretion because of acetylcholine because of excessive acetylcholine excessive salivary secretion will be there and you know that every secretion will be increased by acetylcholine जहां पे भी जाएगा वो सिक्रेशन बढ़ देगा ठीक है अगेन ये हो गया ग्लैंड के ऊपर नाउ अनदर व्हाट इज एक्शन ऑफ एसिलिकोलिन ऑन जीआईटी सो देयर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द पेरिस्टाल्सिस ओके अगर पेरिस्टाल्सिस इंक्रीज हो गए तो मतलब क्या होगा आपको डायरिया होगा वोमिटिंग होगा है ना तो ये भी एक सिम्टम है पॉइजनिंग का सो डायरिया वोमिटिंग इज आल्सो सिम्टम ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड पॉइजनिंग देन आपके आईज के ऊपर क्या होगा म्यूओसिस मायोसिस करेगा ये पिन पॉइंट पिन जैसा करेगा बिकॉज़ ऑफ एक्सेसिव एसिलिकोलिन so you will have meiosis uh, then uh, spasm of uh, then you will have uh, spasm of accommodation okay then again uh, on the muscle acetylcholine kya karega muscle pe kya karega acetylcholine so it will contract the acetylcholine will contract the muscle so excessive twitching excessive contraction of skeletal muscle will be there aapka jo uh, ye hai jo bhi secretion hai wo sab aur uh, urination sab aapka यूरिन के ऊपर क्या इफेक्ट होगा यूरिन का इफेक्ट होगा कि यूरिन विल बी पास सो यूरिन विल बी इजीली पास मतलब कंट्रोल नहीं कर पाओगे आप यू कैन नॉट कंट्रोल यूर वाइड देन अगेन कार्डियोस्कुलर पे क्या इफेक्ट होगा पॉइजनिंग का सो यू नो दैट एसिलकोलिन इज अ कार्डियम डी प्रेजेंट इट विल एक्ट ऑन एम्प्रो रिसेप्टर एंड विल डिक्रीज द हार्ट रेट ब्लड प्रेशर एंड ऑल दैट ऑब्वियसली पॉइजनिंग में तो यही तो होता है ना ये अगर आपने इंसेक्टिसाइड पी लिया तो वही सब सिम्टम्स रहेंगे आपको जो एस्ट्रिकोलिन के सिम्टम्स है बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सेसिव सिक्रेशन ऑफ एस्ट्रिकोलिन वही सिम्टम्स ज्यादा दिख रहे हैं सो इन दैट केस यू हैव टू रीएक्टिवेट द इरिवर्सिबली इनिवेटेड एंजाइम एंड व्हिच इज एंजाइम दैट इज कोलिन स्ट्रेस ओके दैट इज एस्ट्रिकोलिन स्ट्रेस व्हिच इज 
inhibited by these insecticides. Now to activate that enzyme, to activate that enzyme, why do we activate it? Because if we activate that enzyme, then the extra acetylcholine release will be released and will be released. That's why. Now to reactivate that, there is one compound known as oxymes, pralidoxin. Okay, that is the specific antidote, specific antidote for organophosphorus poisoning. This pralidoxin is a specific antidote for organophosphorus poisoning. Now, because of this structure, it will, it will combine at the esteric site. It will displace the this uh, uh, pesticide from the esteric site, and uh, the your enzyme will be available for metabolism of acetylcholine, and symptoms will be reduced. Okay, so pralidoxin chloride, a cholinesterase reactivator. And that is a specific antidote for organophosphorus poisoning. ये इतना याद रखो, ठीक है? How there was a designing of organophosphorus antidote? अभी जो organophosphorus compounds हैं, उनका structure देखो। अभी ये parathion का है, इस structure देखो। कुछ कुछ इसके तरह ही है ना? तो यहाँ पे ये 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 सब मान लीजिए कि आपका ये receptor है। receptor के ऊपर जाके वो insecticide act होगा और वो bind होगा। तो यहाँ पे जो ये देखो, ये जो bond होता है receptor के इस CO2 का आशय है ये एक्टिव साइड पे क्या होता है आपका अमन एसिड होता है तो अमन एसिड का CO- ग्रुप जो है वो ग्रुप और ये नाइट्रोजन का पेस्टिसाइड का नाइट्रोजन का ग्रुप ये एक बॉन्ड फॉर्म करता है दैट इज इ रिवर्सिबल बॉन्ड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आपका जो ऑर्गेनिक फॉस्फरस कंपाउंड है या फिर इंसेक्टिसाइड है दे विल इ रिवर्सिबली इनहिबिट दिस कोलीस्ट्रेज एंजाइम नाउ ओके नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस आफ्टर गिविंग दिस प्राइलोक्सिन so this pralidoxin gets here okay so it will replace this pH side from the binding side and that's why the enzyme will be active again okay it will be active again and that will metabolize the excessive acetylcholine parasympatholytic drugs or parasympatholytics or they are mostly known as a anti-muscarinic or anti-spasmodic or cholinergic blocking agent these are the agent those who blocks the actions of acetylcholine including smooth muscle acetylcholine on it these will block the actions of acetylcholine on on the smooth muscles then exocrine glands secretions and all that following are the targets to counteract over stimulation of cholinergic nerve agar zyada acetylcholine ho gaya to kya kar sakta so inhibition of synthesis of you can inhibit the synthesis and release of acetylcholine then by blocking the acetylcholine by interacting with the receptor you can block the acetylcholine molecule to interact with the receptor means receptor block blocking of transmission at a parasympathetic post ganglion nerve by using atropine that is a muscarinic block blocking of transmission and sympathetic sympathetic and parasympathetic ganglion that is used as a ganglionic block then blocking of blocking at neuromuscular junction by neuromuscular junction in the skeletal muscle एग्जाम्पल डी ट्यूबर क्यू आर ए अगर वहां पर ज्यादा एस्टिलकोलिन हो गया आपका तो एस्टिलकोलिन कम करने के लिए कितने ऑप्शन है आपके पास तो ये इतने ऑप्शन है कौन से कौन से आप तो पहले एस्टिलकोलिन का सिंथेसिस इनिबिट करो अगर नहीं कर सकते तो उसका रिलीज इनिबिट करो ठीक है ये एक ऑप्शन है ये नहीं हो सकता दूसरा ऑप्शन क्या है कि आपका एस्टिलकोलिन रिलीज हो गया सिंथेसिस हो गया रिलीज हो गया होने दो उसको रिसेप्टर के जा रिसेप्टर के साथ में जाके कंबाइन होने का वो प्रिवेंट करो सो यू कैन प्रिवेंट द रिलीज एस्टिलकोलिन फ्रॉम इंटरेक्टिंग विद द रिसेप्टर अगर ये भी नहीं कर सकते तीसरा ऑप्शन है ब्लॉक द एक्शन ऑफ एस्टिलकोलिन ब्लॉकिंग द ट्रांसमिशन एट पैरासिम्पेटिक पोस्ट गैंग नॉर्म बाय एट्रोपिन यू कैन यूज मस्कर्निक एंड न्यूगोटनिक ब्लॉकर्स अगर ये भी नहीं कर सकते तो एक काम करो गैंग्लियनिक गैंग्लिया जो है वही ब्लॉक कर दो तो ब्लॉकिंग ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन बोथ सिंपेथेटिक एंड पैरासिम्पेथेटिक बाय एग्जाम होता अभी आप बोध क्यों आ गया यू नो दैट प्री सनेप्टिक न्यूरो ट्रांसमिटर एस्टिलकोलिन फॉर द बोथ सिंपेथेटिक एज वेल एज पैरासिम्पेथेटिक सो कैलोनिक ब्लॉकर विल आल्सो ब्लॉक बोथ सिस्टम सिंपेथेटिक एज वेल एज पैरासिम्पेथेटिक ओके सो ब्लॉकिंग ये भी नहीं हो सकता नहीं सब हो सकता तो लास्ट ऑप्शन है ब्लॉक एट द न्यूरो मस्कुलर जंक्शन स्केलेटल लाइक डी टू वर्क करा ये स्केलेटल मसल रिलेशन जो बोला उन्हें देखना हो क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटी स्पाजमोडिक ड्रग एंटी स्पाजमोडिक मीन्स दो बिल्स विच विल लिव अनवांटेड कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ यूर स्मूथ मसल अगर पेट में अगर इंटेस्टाइन में स्मूथ मसल है उसका कॉन्ट्रेक्शन हो गया तो आपके पेट में क्या होगा दर्द होगा दैट इज नोन एज स्पाजम अनवांटेड कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ मसल 
atropine and its synthetic analogs like atropine, scopolamine, disoclamine. Out of this atropine is a natural, scopolamine is also natural. Disoclamine is a now synthetic amino alcohol esters. Okay, example in the amino bad example. Then next class is amino alcohol esters. Then amino amino amides is there. Then uh, papa okay, then papa varine and its analog. So this is another totally another totally separate class, papa varine and its analog. So they will relieve your spasm by acting by different method. Papa varine, tetrahydro papa varine, ita varine, and alvarin. And miscellaneous agents are also there. It is a structural feature for anti muscanic activity. If any compound want to be anti muscanic, so it must have this structure at least. So here there should be a bulky substitution on the, uh, the terminal car carbon group. Okay. Jupal the anti muscanic. Sarme de kada pane. Okay. Okay. The sub semi. Okay. Nitrogen ho gaya. Ya pili tarsiri nitrogen. Itna structure at least chahi ho. Ya methylene bridge nahi hai. So minimum structure requirement for antagonistic activity. Kya hai? Minimum structure. That is the minimum structure requirement for a muscarinic antagonistic. Either R can be replaced by hydroxyl alkyl, alkyl, cyclic alkyl, or heterocyclic. This R. Okay. Now R dash is nothing but the alkyl, dimethyl, diethyl, like that. This R. So this this kind of structure will be active as an anti muscarinic. So this will block the muscarinic receptor. The agonist may may contain larger or methyl larger than methyl group. The agonist may contain larger methyl, larger than methyl group on nitrogen atom. It may be, it should be either butyl, it should be either propyl or butyl for effective antagonistic activity. Nitrogen not to be quaternized. The kind of yape, yape nitrogen kya hai tertiary hai. Dekho ye don, aur ye tin. To yape nitrogen tertiary. Acetyl choline ke molecule mein kya tha quaternary tha. So nitrogen should not be quaternized because the receptor is Receptor is receptor is having acidic nitrogen, which is protonated nitrogen carries positive charge and will be in, which will interact with the anionic side of receptor. The next acyl acyl group in the antagonist is always larger than acyl group of acetylcholine. आपने देखा यहाँ पे acyl group की जगह benzyl ring है, ठीक है? So acyl group of in the antagonist must be larger than acyl group in the acetylcholine molecule. The high potency of esters amides and tropic acid result, result from their ability to form a hydrogen bond with a suitable group on a receptor around the hydrophobic area. So high potential is this is your hydrophobic area, what is your hydrophobic area? Tropic acid area. Okay? So that will bind to a hysteretic side, uh, hysteretic side by hydrogen bonds with the suitable groups on the receptor. Means what uh, is your hydrogen group? What is your hydrogen group? What is your hydrogen group? Number of alcohols, esters, and ether resembling to the choline, which has less potent alkyl, okay, invert has appreciable anti agonistic property in addition to the anabolic groups. So, to these compound given number of therapy, no therapeutic is useful. Okay, agar alcohol ester, agar apne bulky group ki jaga chote chote group dal de, alkyl group dal de, to that will not be useful in therapy. Proper stereochemical arrangement must be there to fit the molecule in a, in a receptor. Okay, stereochemical arrangement ka bhi rakhna hai aapko. Which is not a sole criteria. Again come to the class. Amino amides. First one is amino amides. So example is a tropic amide. So, that is also a muscarinic blocker or anticholinergic. So it is nothing but the M4 agonist. It will block the muscarinic for receptor used in and it is used as a mitriatic and cyclopasic. The structure is Topic amide like this. You can see the structural picture. Okay, here the structural picture mil raya. Topic amide, N ethyl 3 hydroxyl 2 phenyl, N pyridine 4 methyl propanamide. That is a topic amide, not much important. Just listen once. Then next class is amino ester. It is a amino amino amide. Okay, amino amide. Q will the amino amide. NH CO. C double on rope, but the EOA amide uh, amino ester cyclopentolin. Okay, now it is used as a mitratic agent in and it is also used in the treatment of uh, keratitis and irritatis. Japi keratinization of the skin cover. Its structure is this, like this. Okay, so cyclopentolate means cyclopentane group is there. Cyclopentane. Okay, 
here you have a cyclopentingo that is cyclopentolate and folate means ester then clinidium bromide clinidium bromide so it is also used as anticholinergic and it is used in the treatment of peptic ulcer hyper hyperchlorohydria means excessive secretion of acid and ulcerative or spastic colon okay so it is the structure of clinidium bromide okay so it will block the mass connect receptor present in the GIT area so that's why it is used as a in the treatment of peptic ulcer it is a clinidium bromide now oh, next one is a dicyclomine okay so it is a structure of dicyclomine and dicyclomine means di means two cyclone means ring two ring is me as a structure dicyclo and yamine okay so dicyclomine now if this type of dicyclomine is a synthetic derivative of atropine atropine came by me modification because it is a derivative of atropine and now this dicyclomine is a powerful muscle relaxer so it is used as an anti-spasmodic it is used as an anti-spasmodic in various kind of spasm it is used to treat intestinal, biliary, renal, ureoteric, colic means spasm associated with the intestine, biliary tract, renal and urethra irritable bowel syndrome and it is also used in the dysmenorrhea okay the next one is a glycopyrrolate so this is a glycopyrrolate okay now this glycopyrrolate is used as a pre-anesthetic medication okay it is used as a pre-anesthetic medication anticholinergic and anti-spasmodic so you might have seen this glycopyrrolate in the uh, general anesthetic chapter to prevent the vomiting and the excessive salivation and all that now next one is a methacillin now the next one is a methacillin, sorry methanthelin, not methacillin, methanthelin, methanthelin, now propanthelin, methanthelin, these are the drugs which are used to decrease the uh, gastric acid secretion, okay, these are the anticholinergic drugs, these are used to decrease the, decrease the gastric acid secretion, you can see here, now its new brother is there, its brother is there, whose name is propanthelin, now this propanthelin, previous was a methanthelin, this was a methanthelin. Uska hi bahi hai dusra. Usko bolte hai propanthelin. Okay. Now propanthelin. Usme hi ki difference hai. Aapko difference kya hai? Propanthelin, methanthelin. Mas yaha pe propyl group hai. Wo aap pe methyl group hai only. Okay. Yaha pe ye toh. Ye jo hai na ye dye methyl propyl. Aisa propyl group hai na yaha pe. Wo aap pe sirf methyl group hai. To methanthelin. Yaha pe propyl group hai to propanthelin. Okay. Pina baad mein. Now, propanthelin is a ganglionic blocker. Sorry, these propanthelin and methanthelin are ganglionic blocker. They are anti-smasmodic, anti-peptic ulcer drug. They are used skeletal. They are also neuromuscular blocker. Next one is a benzotropin mesylate. So it is a structure of benzotropin. Benzotropin. Or, or next one is a benzotropin mesylate. Here we have benzotropin curve structure. So it is a tropin base and this is okay. So it is also anti-muscanic agent. Benzotropin is anti-cholinergic, anti-histaminic and it has also local anesthetic property. It is also used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Benzotropin. Okay. So, this is the IUPAC name. I have given it. It is not that important. So, don't worry. Now, amino alcohol, biperidine. Next one is amino alcohol, biperidine. It is also used in the Parkinson's disease to treat the rigidity. Tremors and Akinesia. Its structure is like this. So, Bipyridine. Bi means two. Pyridine means two ring. So this is a pyridine ring. Bi means two. So I, yeah. Bipyridine. This is a good logic. If you have a structure, you have to use it. It's not important. It's not important. It's not important. Now next one is the Procyclidine. It is also used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Its structure is like this. Procyclidine. So, triaxial. Triaxial. It is also used in the it is also used in the Parkinson's disease. Triaxyl triaxyl ethyl chloride. Triaxyl ethyl chloride. Now last one is amino amide slice. Amino amide class that is ipromide. Ipromide. Isopropamide. Sorry, isopropamide. That is also potent anticholinergic, anti ulcer drug, anti secret reagent, and anti spasmodic. Structure is like this. Isopropamide. And next one is last slide is this. This is last slide. 
cholinergic antagonist or muscarinic blocking agent like it. this one is atropine so you know that atropine is used as a muscarinic blocker and it is used in the treatment of uh, pi uh, it is in the treatment of poisoning of pyostic mine agar pyostic mine ka poisoning hoye to usme atropine use karte hain okay so atropine is obtained from atropa belladonna solanaceae family okay so it is a tropen base tropen base with ester of tropen with tropic acid okay atropic tropen base with tropic acid okay then uh, iosamine iosamine is also a so iosamine or it is also known as daturai so it is obtained from uh, datura iosamis nigar iosamis nigar then it is also having similar structure to atropine we say similar structure of scatopine is a now scopolamine scopolamine is obtained from atropa belladonna okay so this scopolamine is a seen as depressant this is a seen as depressant and atropine is a seen as stimulant so that's why atropine sometimes cause vomiting it can induce vomiting atropine can induce vomiting itself but because of its central stimulant action but as it is a muscarinic blocker blocker also so it will reduce the secretions but it is not true with this scopolamine as it is a seen as depressant drug it will not produce any kind of emesis it will depress the vomiting so that's why it is used as a anti emetic scopolamine now next one is ipratropium bromide now it is also synthetic atropine derivative and this ipratropium bromide is mostly used in the treatment of your uh, asthma okay bronchial asthma it is used in treatment of bronchial asthma in the form of inhalation is ipratropium bromide 